Welcome to the in between. <laughs> so, what have you been up to this week? Long pause. <laughs> Doesn't really work for an audio based <laughs> broadcast. I was, pal. I was returning to Monday and living my life again. <laughs> what have I been? I don't, I've just been working, man. How's the I, job? I love my job. That's great. I really do. That's great. Um, it's really fun. People I work with are great. Mm-hmm. And. I got our boss hired a, a massage therapist I'm on so, Thursday. Oh my god! And then for Cinco de Mayo on Friday, she ordered everybody Mexican. That sounds amazing. Right. I saw your Facebook post about like, oh hey, you know, we got a massage therapist in today, <laughs> and I was like, my my boss just threatened me over text uh, to take away my pay illegally. For doing something that she told me to do. <laughs> Fuck you. Ugh, man. <laughs> I had a real shitty week at work, man. Oh, I'm so pissed. That's not good. No, that's not. Mm. Well, yeah, I was <sighs> I was hesitant about telling you and Chris about those hosting jobs just because, like, you guys do get to spend time together because you work together right. and, and eat together and right. sometimes free food and all that stuff. I'm like, sound like you had a pretty good gig. Yeah, it's a good but... gig. It's a good gig. I'm just really, you know... Uh, I got a bad taste in my mouth about it all of a sudden. Sure. Because, like, um, you know, maybe don't threaten your best salesman. So Yeah. <laughs> For sure. For sure. I understand that. <laughs> anyway, um, I upgraded my microphone equipment with yeah, my, I saw your with my tax return. And then I, well, I did my booth the first way, right? Mm-hmm. And everything sounded like I was speaking into a, tape or a paper towel roll. And yeah. I don't know why. Like, it just sounded so muddy. And so I completely gutted that entire closet and really? have completely redone all the foam, and it sounds way better now. That's good. Just getting some weird echoes? I, I, what was happening is that the foam, I had too much foam. It was absorbing the high end. So every just, oh. everything sounded like this because there was no high end to getting to the microphone. Gotcha. And so I like paneled it all out and took a couple pieces of foam off the wall to like checkerboard it a little bit. And now the high end is getting to hit those walls and come back to the mic and it sounds way better. Good. Oh my God, dude. That was going to drive me crazy. <laughs> I was so mad. I spent, I spent a lot of money on that microphone. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I got a microphone, a preamp, and I was like, and if you're I'm going to do like this. a mixer and all that stuff. Yeah, too, yeah, yeah. Like I, I went all in. Yeah, and, and then it sounded like garbage, and I was like, I give up. Like <laughs> This is where the dream dies. Like I was <laughs> so depressed and mad. And I was like, all right, we just got to gut that closet. It's okay. I can do this. <laughs> Uh, and then I spent like six hours the other night redoing all that. Jesus. Got a blister on my thumb. Oh no. From putting in thumbtacks. <laughs> Just the least manly way to acquire. I put in too many thumbtacks. <laughs> I got a blisty. Well, one of the mattress pads I was using, I had to double over and it wouldn't let me put tacks through. It kept pushing them back out. Why didn't you just use a hammer? Because I didn't, I don't, I'm still renting. I don't want to put holes in everything. Eh. Yeah, Just I get know. a little plaster afterwards. I've had really, Dude, look at my, really bad look at, landlords Look at the, the office work. Look at how many fucking holes I put in this place. <laughs> I've got three shelves, a bunch of pictures, I've got a mirror hanging up here. Uh, another thing. So many things. <laughs> I just pound holes in the wall like I don't give a shit. I know. I've, I've just had really bad landlords, so I, I'm cautious. Well, don't you know, like, in, in California... Um, they can let you like you can do the plaster and stuff and they have to give you the paint that they use for the wall so you can paint over any damages that you have. Oh, nice. Yeah. I wasn't if, aware of that. Yeah. And if they're like, oh no, we don't do that, be like, well, I can call somebody. At one of my past apartments, it was the one that Snips and I lived in in uh in Illinois. We <clears throat> wanted to like do something to the kitchen because it was like it was like Farmer in the Dell in there, man. It had all like the old, like rustic <laughs> Southern country. Like it looked like I walked into a, like a pawn shop in Kentucky, you know. And there's just like roosters for no reason, and like fruit of the logos. Too many cocks in the kitchen. Too many cocks in the kitchen. Too many. Got to even them out with those uh, pussy chews. And <laughs> anyway, whatever. So we painted over all of that. And then took comic books and mm-hmm. tore the pages out and made wallpaper out of it. Oh, cool. And it was really awesome until we had to leave. And I was like, oh, shit, our landlord's going to see all this. <laughs> and so I spent 
a whole day. Like, he was supposed to come the next day to right. come see the place. And I was like, all right, I need to, like, clean all this up. And he's like, hey, I'm actually going to be done early today so I can come over later. <laughs> and so he was going to come over later that day. And I'm just, like, right scraping the off the wall, like, just scraping and painting as frantically as I could. <laughs> and um, Did you get that deposit back? Yeah, actually, well, most Holy of shit. it. Yeah, wow, got it back. But All right, it was terrifying. <laughs> but dude, I want to do that again so bad. But it was so much work to clean up. I bet. Like, uh, I bet. See, and I'm I'm really stoked to do stuff like that. But I don't want to really dedicate a lot of my time until Chris and I get our forever home. Right. You know, totally. That's I kind of where buy I'm our house, home. and then start with my you know demented plans. <laughs> <laughs> What's something you want to do with your your house? When oh man! Going? Okay, so when it comes to like decorating, so Chris loves doing stuff like that. And she's like, "Okay, uh, yeah, I really like this. I like this. I like this. I like this." And I was like, "Oh, okay, okay, okay." And she's like, "Okay, what do you like? Like, if you could decorate to your sensibilities, mm-hmm. what would you decorate a house as?" And I was like, "Um, a spaceship." In a forest from Lord of the Rings with a lot of skulls. <laughs> She's like, what? I'm like, imagine the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Crash landed in uh, Lothlorien. <laughs> but also there are skulls. She's like, what did I do? In a past life, to have to live with you. <laughs> no, she's actually, she's actually pretty into it. She's you know, because our room we we have a forest theme in our room, um, and I want to just like on walls and once we get our house, like levers and stuff. Like instead of light switches, you know, like the yeah, yeah. I want like fucking like <laughs> yeah, like levers and Frankenstein like uh, uh, like throttle like spaceship throttle levers yeah, yeah. on the wall. To control that, the light speed toggle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, shit like that. It, it'd be way more fun. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. I'm I mean, I'm not gonna fun. never land ranch it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna buy the elephant man's bones. I and draw have a, bunch a line. Of kids in there. I draw a line at Pet Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Kroll um, on his comedy special has a really great joke about that. Um, he, it's uh, him talking. Like, he wants kids, but he's really nervous because he's going to have to explain things to his child. Uh-huh. And he's like, well, I'm going to have to explain things to him, like, uh, what the Holocaust was or what 9-11 is or who exactly Michael Jackson was. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about his kid, like, talking to him, like, who is Michael Jackson? And he's like, well, he was this... Uh, this you know, a uh, uh, pop singer and all this. Well, what do you look like? <laughs> well, when he was a kid, he uh, was this really charming little African American boy. What about it in his twenties? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Where was I going with this? What, what were you Neverland saying? Neverland Ranch. Oh home. yeah. Uh, so at one point, he's like. What about when he was older? You can give me various examples. <laughs> and he talks about how um, he was like, well, yeah, he got older, and um, his best friend was a monkey. <laughs> that should have been a red flag. <laughs> yeah, we didn't see it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, it cracks me up every time I think about it. I love Nick Curl so much. All right, well, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Yeah! Hopefully we won't just talk about decorating. And <laughs> what kind of tips do you stuff. have? <laughs> that was really into the most boring parts of our life. <laughs> well, you we promised to try harder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>